right, um, Maureen. So today, you we actually during our sprint planning, you mentioned that you are not able to find the acceptance criteria field on your Jira board, which most of the time it doesn't come with the free default version. So I just recall that we did not talk about it before we closed the class, which is why I'm recording this quick video to show you and the team how to um, set up additional fields, including the acceptance criteria field on your JIRA board if you realize that um, you don't have it. So let's look at our board right now. This is my JIRA board, right? Now let's find out if our user stories have acceptance criteria field. So let's just open the user story. All right, so opening the user story, looking through it, you see it has description field, comment. It has all these other fields, but I don't see the acceptance criteria field. Hmm, what do we do? Now, if you have a situation like this, the way I would do it is, let me close this out. I'm gonna go to project setting. And then I will go to issue types. And then on the issue type, once I click on it, this um, page will open for us or this view will open. So by the way, I'm looking this way because I'm looking at my monitor, just so you know. So looking through it, yeah, it doesn't have the acceptance criteria field. So we want to add, create an additional field. So I would look, this is where you come to find if you have the fields there. So um, you can quickly type here to search the field that you're looking for, if you know the name, acceptance criteria. So you see, I just started to type and then it pulled up for me. So, you see, we have so many different ones pulling up because I've created so many different ones in here anyway. So all what you have to do is select it. So once you select it, you'll see that it has added here, you see, and then you can adjust it. You can drag it and drop it wherever you want to add. For me, again, it doesn't matter. I always like my acceptance criteria to appear after the user story description field. So if you click on this drop down here, you'd see that you have the acceptance criteria. You can enter the information you want, right? All right, I'm not gonna save this. I'm gonna remove this. I just wanna show you another way of doing it. So that's one way of doing it. The second way of doing it is you don't necessarily need to type anything. All you need to do is just go to suggested field, right? And then you would see the suggestions here. And now you can select um select what you want so i'm just gonna select this one so i've selected it and again i'll just drag it and adjust it so clicking here that's it right there that's all so once you have it in there you can now go ahead and click the save button but i'm not going to save this right i'm going to remove it i want to show you another most important way now you see we have all these ones coming up as suggestions because I have created them. Before, when I came in here, I typed it. I didn't see any acceptance criteria field pulling up for me. So what if we don't have any acceptance criteria field in, in all of the different field options that the, the default Jira came with? What are you going to do? So in a situation like that, let's say you try typing here, you don't find anything. You tried looking it up here, you don't find anything. This is where you go. Come to go to custom field right here. I hope you can see that right here. Click on it. And then on custom field, if you try typing it here, you don't find it. Now I will find it because I had already custom created it. So this is, a, it's pulling up, but because I have custom created it. Well, but let's assume that um, we tried to look for it. We didn't find it because it wasn't in here. So what you do is you come to create custom field. If you click on create custom field, now you can create anything you want. You select how you want it to look like the option. 
you see, you select the option that you, you want it to pull up as. I'm gonna select text field and then click on next. And then here is where you enter the whatever you're looking for. You want to do acceptance criteria. You see, so once you enter the acceptance criteria, you enter the description here. So criteria or conditions. Let me not use the same word to define the same word. Conditions to define. Determine if a story is complete. That's acceptance criteria right there. And then you click on create. See? Now that we have it in here, um, yeah, so now that we have it in here, that's it. That's really all it takes. Really, that's all it takes. So I also want to come to field configuration, right? I want to come to field configuration. I click on configure field. And then to make sure that um, it's configured correctly. So that's all, that's all. So configure field, this is a new acceptance criteria we just created. So the screen is, we want it, so you see this default screen here. What I'm saying is that I want it to be, to show here by default. That's what I'm saying. So this other acceptance criteria field here, we can edit it too. If I want this thing to show by default, let me show you how to edit it. So that even if you're using a default version, you don't have to go to each story to change it it will pull up automatically for all of the stories you're creating. That's what I'm trying to do right now. So I'll click on, no, I'll click on screens. And then I'm gonna select this screen here, default screen. That's it. That's it. Now you see it, it's, it's showing here by default. So now let's go back to our user story. So now if you go back to your project, right? If you go back to your project, let me go back to the project. Let me take this shortcut to go back to the project. If you go back to the project, if you click on the, the if you click on any user story on that project, let's click on this user story now. All right, we still don't have it, right? Now, you need to come now and add it. So come to configure. Like I showed you earlier, now you see that we have all, we have created one more acceptance criteria field, which is what I created just to show you how it's done. So right now, all I need to do is either drag it and drop it or just click on it. That's all. That's all, you see. So I want to make it required. I want to make this a required field. So I'll just click there and then save. I hope that makes sense. So that's really how you add your acceptance criteria field in your, on your um, JIRA board. So let me go back. Let's go back to the project. Let's go back to the um, uh, board view and try to open the story now to see if we would find the acceptance criteria field. So let's click on the story. Now you see we have the acceptance criteria field here. So you can click here to type whatever you're trying to type. Yeah, so that is how you enter your acceptance criteria. You create your acceptance criteria field in Jira or you add it to your default version just in case you don't find it when you're trying to do your user stories. So I hope this video was helpful. And please, if you have not subscribed yet to our channel, I'm also going to, well, the reason why I'm saying this is because I'll be posting this video on the YouTube channel. If you've not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do. This is our YouTube backup channel. And if you're not a part of our main channel, please make sure you subscribe to our main channel as well, Being Agile Consulting. And 
um, feel free to look or go visit our website, beingagileconsulting.com. Look up our different agile programs that we offer. We offer agile certification, Scrum Master training classes. The next one is coming up on the 3rd of October. We also offer intense mentoring and coaching for practicing and aspiring agile coaches. We offer safe certification program that is skilled agile certification programs for scrum masters for product owners and for for teams for leadership so and then we also offer um mentoring and coaching for people that already have a scrum master certification but they do not have a job they're looking to transition into this space we have a fantastic program to help you accomplish that just visit our website, beingagileconsulting.com and learn about our programs. If you have questions, please feel free to contact us, send us an email. You can write us on WhatsApp. Our number is listed there or call us directly. I will be more than happy to provide all the information you need so that you are successful. Again, my name is Karen from Marfong. I'm not sure I introduced myself earlier. Your Agile Evangelist. And thank you for being a part of our Agile family. Hope to talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.